SpaceX on Tuesday launched another Starship rocket, but passed up catching the booster with giant mechanical arms. Unlike last month's success, the booster was directed to a splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. The catch was called off just four minutes into the test flight from Texas for unspecified reasons, and the booster hit the water three minutes later. Not all of the criteria for a booster catch was met and so the flight director did not command the booster to return to launch site, said SpaceX spokesman Dan Hewitt. He did not specify what went wrong. At the same time, the empty spacecraft launched from Texas atop Starship soared across the Gulf of Mexico on a near loop around the world similar to October's test flight. Skimming space, the shiny retro-looking craft targeted the Indian Ocean for a controlled but destructive end to the hour-long demo. It was the latest test for the world's biggest and most powerful rocket that SpaceX and NASA hope to use to get astronauts back on the Moon and eventually Mars. SpaceX kept the same flight path as last time, but changed some steps along the way as well as the time of day. Starship blasted off in late afternoon instead of early morning to ensure daylight halfway around the world for observing the spacecraft's descent. Among the new objectives, igniting one of the spacecraft's engines in space, which would be necessary when returning from orbit. There were also thermal protection experiments aboard the spacecraft, with some areas stripped of heat tiles to see whether catch mechanisms might work there on future flights. Even more upgrades are planned for the next test flight. Donald Trump flew in for the launch in the latest sign of a deepening bond between the president-elect and Elon Musk, SpaceX's founder and CEO. SpaceX wants to eventually return and reuse the entire 400-foot Starship. Full-scale recycling would drive down the cost of hauling cargo and people to the Moon and Mars, while speeding things up. Vehicle is pitching down range. Booster Raptor, shadow pressure nominal. Bionics power and telemetry nominal. Nominal. That's flying straight and true. We do see all 33 Raptor engines lit up on telemetry screens, and we heard we heard the tower is go for catch. Booster engine cut off. The return flag is set for true. Should that should start up. Stage separation. All right, hot staging confirmed. that we are go for catch. Kate, Jesse, take good the views. Hopefully I got a booster coming home real soon. Well, as the operators on console have been actively evaluating the commit criteria for that return to the launch tower. Um, and unfortunately, we did not have a pass on those commit criteria. So we are no go for tower catch. And we, exactly. So views there of the booster on the left-hand side of your screen, views of the ship on the right-hand side of your screen. Super heavy booster. Uh, so we have seen this before, uh, and it is still very fun to watch, <laughs> watching it come down uh, for a soft splashdown uh, off the Gulf Coast of Texas. You can see it there re-entering. Uh, we saw earlier those grid fins. There are four hypersonic grid fins. Oh, we can see that the landing burn has begun on the super heavy booster. Pattern, 13 engines will light. Gone down to three just as we expected. And what an incredible view of splashdown that we got today. Oh, super heavy. Down? Yeah. I'm sure the buoy cam.
engine's relighting. What a great reorientation by Starship. Wow. All three down to two. Into the water. Israel's Megan David Adam Rescue Services said one woman was killed and 10 people wounded in a Hezbollah rocket attack on the northern Israeli city of Shvarim. According to paramedics who arrived at the scene, the woman was killed instantly and 10 others were injured after a rocket struck a four-story building. The Israeli military said the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah launched more than 100 projectiles toward Israel on Monday. Hezbollah began launching missiles, rockets and drones at Israel on October 8, 2023, in solidarity with Hamas in its war with Israel in Gaza. Israel stepped up their attack against Hezbollah in mid-September. On Monday an Israeli airstrike slammed into a densely populated residential area in Beirut near key government and diplomatic buildings, killing at least five people as the U.S. pressed ahead with ceasefire efforts. More than 3,400 people have been killed in Lebanon by Israeli fire 80% of them in the past eight weeks according to Lebanon's health ministry.